So I figured out the best place to post your art and for some reason no one is talking about it. Okay, I'm not going to slow burn anyone here today. No, 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 no. The place I'm talking about is Pinterest and let's get straight to why you should be posting there. Okay, so reason number one, it's passive. I think one harmful thing about social media sites is the emphasis on fast moving content and short lived posts. Pinterest is the opposite. When I first posted on there, I came back the next day expecting 80% of the engagement the post would receive in its entire lifetime. And what was I met with? And even then, these metrics were only gained through my interaction with the post. So I chucked Pinterest in the bin, disregarded it. Well, little did I know that over time this pin would reach more and more people, even without any keywords or effort put into the post. And now it's one of my top performers. It exponentially gets more views even three months later. This is helpful for one, your long-term engagements, and two, your dopamine levels, so that you don't have to post consistently all the time for that rush we know too well. Reason number two, you can post the same artwork multiple times with no repercussion. Okay, so you can't post the exact PNG multiple times, but I'll show you what I personally do. Sketch of the artwork, sketch of the artwork in Clip Studio, base colors, close up, finished version, finished crop version, tilted with Rio de Janeiro. The possibilities are endless. And if you're a traditional artist, just take a photo at as many angles as you can possibly manage and in as many settings as you can, boom, post them up. Pinterest is a visual search engine and there is a good chance that it will recognize this is pretty much the same thing, but to be honest, it doesn't really care. I mean, look at the amount of duplicates in my posts and they all got saves eventually. It's not spammy, it's just what artists deserve for their hard work. So start saving those progress shots, my friend. Reason number three, your engagement actually scales with your follower base, <clears throat> TikTok and Instagram. When you follow someone on Pinterest, their created pins will begin showing up on your homepage. I know this because I constantly get strange morphed yokai watch memes from my mutual Astrid. Now, growth is slow at first. I'll be honest with you. I was stuck on 100 followers for so long, but it grows again exponentially. I get heaps more reactions, comments, impressions and saves now compared to my first month on the platform. I don't really see the same proportionate engagement reflected in my Instagram or my TikTok. And if you take a super long break and return with a pin or two, Pinterest won't lash you like Instagram or TikTok would. Reason number four, you can link pins to things. I use this for the sale of my deep cut aquarium keychain. I noticed that the pin was making some waves, so I decided to slap my store link on there and it actually led to some visits. You can also do this with any other type of link, like an Instagram page, YouTube channel, or just a rickroll. You can rickroll people with this feature. However, I would recommend not relying solely on Pinterest for your art posting ventures. It's best used alongside other social medias for a few good reasons. Reason number one, repost culture. Reposting and then subsequently stealing is rampant on Pinterest due to the nature of the platform. Make sure to put a watermark, upload a lower res version of your finished artwork or post cropped versions of your art because Pinterest allows for easy and widespread redistribution of your artwork. Make sure that people know that the art belongs to you and state your boundaries in your pin description and your bio. I mean, this can happen on any platform, but it's good to be extra vigilant on Pinterest because if it's your only platform and someone pretends to be you on something more discoverable like Instagram or TikTok, you might seem like the fake. And reason number two, low quality engagement. The main metrics of Pinterest are impressions, pin clicks and saves. But it's pretty safe to say these are neutral and don't really reflect people's opinions of your art. Comments and reactions are slightly harder to come by on this app, especially in the early growth stages. Followers are also few and far between. It was radio silence on my end until I hit about 1k and then my engagement started to pick up. All this quiet might drive you mad, so make sure to have another platform as well which can provide you encouragement and feedback if that's what you need to be happy and grow as an artist. 
Honestly, that's the main two things I can fault about Pinterest. Other than that, I think you should really give it a go. I've had people see me on other platforms and recall my art from Pinterest. Then they became consciously aware of me in the tiny bit of real estate my art takes up in their brain. Like when you think about breathing and it becomes manual. I'd love to give some growth tips, but I honestly have nothing. I can't figure any of it out just yet to give you solid advice. The only trend I've observed is aliens, but I don't know if that's useful information that you can apply to your Pinterest strategy. I might check back in later with some guides, but for now, I'm just going to keep randomly posting stuff on there and try and figure it out a little bit more. So open up a Pinterest account for your art today and give it a go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this quick video. I hope to do more art social media guides in the future, but for now, I'll see you in the next one.